Hello Cancer, this is your reading for June for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with Cancer? Okay, we got a lot of cards going to fall out here guys. That's the Ace of Wands there. <clears throat> Feeling eager. Ooh, some of you want a new start after being broken hearted. at. Feeling disappointed. Some of you are wanting to do something different here. After this. I feel like this is Aries. A I can't even freaking tell. Aries, Libra. Aries and Libra opposite signs. So it could definitely be one or the other. And this person is like, um, uh, has changed in some kind of way in your eyes, okay? What's crossing cancer? What's crossing cancer? Five of Wands. There's definitely a struggle going on. I feel like it's going on with someone else or some other people. Um, could be an Aries and a Libra energy here for some of you guys um, or this could be like internal conflict you're being challenged to fight for something fight for peace fight for your sanity fight for release so whatever that means for you if there's two different people in your life and you feel like there's a choice that you need to make then that is what this is okay that's Leo energy there with the Five of Wands. What is the underlying issue here for Cancer? Underlying issue for Cancer. Two of Wands. You need to decide what you're going to do. I feel like you're leaning more towards uh, one way than the other. But the issue here is that you need to decide what you want to do and just do it. Okay, this is also Aries energy here with this two of wands. Could definitely be a fire energy that's present for you guys. One of them. If it's not, if it's not two people, then there is a duality that you view in this person. What was going on in the recent past for Cancer? Recent past for Cancer. Four of Wands, a relationship, you were happy, um, stable. Hmm. There's some conflict that has arisen here, I feel like, in your relationship, in a relationship. Again, there's something that has, like, uh, maybe stirred up something, maybe some underlying feelings, even. Um, I definitely get that there's two people here for some of you. But um, for others of you, this is a relationship where you feel like this person has changed and you're not really that happy right now, like your relationship is on the rocks. Aries. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Cancer. Crowning thoughts for Cancer. Crowning thoughts for Cancer. Six of Pentacles. You want to make sure that what you're putting in is what you get out of it. I think you guys are wanting reciprocity. You're wanting this person to want to spend time with you because that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that this person is right for you. If there's a choice to be made, you want to make sure that the person is right for you. If this is something that's going on just between you and one other person, you want to make sure that this person is giving you everything that you give them. That's what you want. That's all you want. No more, no less. That's Taurus energy there with the Six of Pentacles. What's coming in for Cancer? What's coming in for Cancer? The Devil. Capricorn energy there. 
feeling angry, feeling frustrated, feeling attached, feeling drawn to someone. I'm getting that a lot of you are getting angry and there's a need to control your anger. I know there's something that's disappointing you, that's hurting you, but I feel like somebody's about to explode here and it's not going to be good. How is Cancer viewing this situation? How is Cancer viewing this situation? The Queen of Pentacles, you really care for this person. You've taken care of this person. And I feel like you don't want to make a choice to leave them completely. If you guys are already separated, I feel like you don't want to leave them completely, but you're prepared to. Because I feel like you you guys have done everything that you could possibly do, you feel, to make things work. Financially, emotionally. You feel like you've you've devoted your time. You've put in the effort in this relationship. And I see some of you ready to turn your backs. What is the influence here for could definitely be a cancer. I got a lot of cards that fell out here. Could definitely be not a cancer, but a Capricorn. Um, could be cancer as well. Another cancer. But I'm definitely seeing Capricorn here. I'm definitely seeing you guys um, meeting this person halfway. Uh, being a rock for them. I definitely see that. A lot of responsibility. Somebody's being very cold here. Somebody's being very flirtatious here. Somebody else is feeling um, some regrets. I feel like there's somebody here that's hanging on by a thread. And I feel like this has been going on for a while. This situation, if this is just between you and somebody else, this is something that's been going on for a while. And it needs to end. One way or the other. By you guys really sitting down and working out your conflict um, and resolving this. And if you can't resolve it, then it's probably time to move on. Uh, there's definitely been, been a change in somebody that has been feeling um, down and out. That's been feeling uh, some regret. There's, some, there's a, a switch that has flipped in this person, I feel. Whether that's you or the other person. And if it's two other people, then somebody in this situation has definitely changed the game. Okay? Somebody's definitely changed here. And I feel like somebody in this situation also is dating. And this person is... Um, this person's they're not cold but they are they're holding on to whatever it is that they feel like makes them right something that they feel like you've done they're holding on to something here and letting go of something else like if this person was really kind of submissive or really attentive, then they're not that attentive anymore. They're not that submissive anymore. Okay. Somebody's gained some confidence as well. What is the influence here for Cancer? Influence for Cancer. Then we have a Queen of Swords here. Hmm. Now, this is the thing. You have somebody here. She's loving or he's loving, however it goes for you. But this person is no nonsense. If they weren't no nonsense before, they are coming in no nonsense. Um, they don't want to hear anything but the facts. Okay? They feel scorned. They feel hurt. I feel like both of you guys are feeling kind of hurt. And I don't know if if it's something that you feel like you've done 
that you've apologized for, you've tried to make amends for, and this person is still holding on to it, or vice versa. It's something like that. And then shit kind of snowball. Hmm. Hopes or fears for Cancer. Eight of Wands. Several signs have gotten the Eight of Wands today. You're hoping to move forward. You're hoping to move on, to leave behind all of the conflict, all of the anger, all of the disappointment and heartache. You're just wanting to move on with or without this person. Okay. For those of you who is two people involved, I feel like you guys are wanting to move forward. And you're wanting to make up your mind. You're wanting to decide. But you want to be sure that you're making the right choice. Sagittarius energy there with the Eight of Wands. What is the overall outcome here for Cancer? Overall outcome for Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune. There's a change coming. If things have been up, there's some bumpy roads ahead of you. Okay, if things have been down, there's some good shit that's coming your way. Wheel of Fortune is all about change. Nothing stays up forever and nothing stays down forever. This is Sagittarius and Piscean energy. There's going to be a change in your relationship or relationships. Okay, so that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon.